Welcome to another Conveni Express episode of Pego Pego TV. TV. I'm Alan. And I'm Vic. Let's talk about Odin. Odin is a popular winter food here in Japan. Mm. It's actually quite an old fashioned kind of food, but nowadays, if you want to get some, you can actually get them at convenience. It's only a special winter only kind of food. Main ingredients boiled in a sort of dashy stock broth. Including tofu, fish cakes, vegetables, eggs. So it's pretty hearty winter food. First up on the list is boiled egg. So I see on the outside it's sort of coloured. This has been boiling in a dashy stock all day. The outer layer has been darkened by the stock it has absorbed. I feel like it's gained a lot of flavour within that yolk and it's, it's got a really good overall taste. So I have next the atsuage. Atsuage. So we've got the deep fried tofu with some miso tare, which is uh, miso sauce on it. Perhaps so. a bit too much in my half. <laughs> you just have a good one. Mm. So you can see here on the inside, it's uh, deep fried on the outside with uh, just a block of tofu on the inside. It is soft, but it yeah. still retained its shape. And that mm. miso sauce really gives it a sort of sweet, tangy punch to it. It's like a kick. It's really good. I really like it. Next up, we got shirataki. Shirataki is actually not noodles. It's made out of a kind of cornstarch called konyaku, wrapped in a sort of knot so that you can have it together and top everything on. It's a bit like flavorless gelatin fashioned into noodles. Next up, we have the tatsumeyage. Tatsumeyage is fish cake with some vegetable in it. So you can see sort of carrots, different root vegetables. Take a bite, tell me what you think. As you bite into it, the fish cake is soft and it's got the firmness of the vegetables inside, yeah. giving it some bite to it. Mm -mm. Okay. Next up, we have the Winamaki. Fish cake with a sausage through it. Let's uh, just give it a shot and see what we've got. Best of both worlds. Oh. I actually quite like that. It has a really like tasty, meaty taste. It's kind of like the Branston sausages and beans. I really like it because it's nice to mix up the meats a little bit instead oh, yeah. of just having constantly like fish. It's good to have a, a variation. Next we got the Kinchaku. This is really fun. Little Christmas parcel there. Yeah, I think that's actually what its name refers to. It's like a parcel. On the outside, it's a deep fried tofu. And on the inside, we've got mm, mochi. I feel like of that mochi parcel has like a myriad of textures in it with the soft tofu outside with the nice chewy mochi inside. Next up, we got the tamagoyaki. Really? Rolled omelette in yeah. this case. So it's Japanese omelette. So it's been boiled in odin. Let's just give it a shot. Oh yeah. It's very soft. It's a little sweet. It's usually a lot sweeter than that, but... Mm. I think it's been um, countered with the slightly soggy broth. Mm. It's very tender though. It's not rubbery. It's almost like scrambled egg texture. I think it's good. Next up, we have the chikua. It's fish cake. Again, it's hollow on the inside. Chikua actually does mean bamboo ring. So it's sort of modelled after that way. It looks like it has cooked marks on the outside. Hmm. It's got an overall good flavour. It's not like, you know, anything particularly strong. So I think it's pretty good. It's mainly chewy, but in a good way, not in a bad way. Hmm. We're talking about chewy. There's one more of its kind that we have here. And that's called Chikuwabu. I love this one. We call it mistake at the factory. Chikuwabu is made with the same dough as udon. Yeah, udon is uh, Japanese thick noodles. So imagine that in an udon no. factory, if like a tube is spitting out a single strand of udon, and then it kind of got clogged, and then one thing led to another, and this sort of came out as a giant udon. That's why we call it mistake at the factory. Yeah. I really mean, like it actually. Yeah, it was really nice. It's chewy. It's tasty. It's, it's fun. But last but not least, you got my favorite, cabbage roll. Cabbage roll. So cabbage roll, you can only get at 7-Eleven. This is cabbage rolled in pork mince. So it's sort of more like Chinese style, and it just tastes like awesome. Mm, it just tastes great. Like the most untraditional flavors are the best ones. <laughs> yeah, that nice taste of cabbage soaked with the broth. Yeah. With some meat. I think the freshness makes a huge difference. In it. Honestly, it's like by far my favorite. In this episode, we showed you a large selection of things that are fried, boiled, eggs, tofu, things that are noodles, things that are not noodles. Convenience cover a large range and they change seasonally for what they do. Odin was the perfect time to have it now, but next month, I think they're gonna stop making Odin. And maybe something new will come up. I'm not too sure. We haven't been here long enough to tell. Thank you for watching this episode of Peko Peko, 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 Peko TV. TV. For more information about Odin, please click the link below. They'll take you to the Tumblr page where you can read all about it. So do remember to check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr and Instagram. 
to check out on our misadventures here in Japan. Thank you for watching and till next time. Bye! Bye.